Hello and welcome to our Tampanese hub in the east of Singapore as Geelong International take on Haugang United in the AIA Singapore Premier League. Geelong International, they have an opportunity here to close the gap with Tampanese Rovers uh, to just four points and just also consolidate their fourth spot and a place in next year's AFC Cup. Vincent Besco. Fullbacks done well. Still on no. Surely they'll score this. Oh, that is wonderfully done. And Uma Abba, not one to score many goals. And he slams that in. He's done very well with that finish, Uma. Again, I don't think he's the most uh, technical of footballers. But I love his work rate and his intensity in the middle of the park. And he did really well there. It was so easy for him to... <laughs> Just put as much power as he possibly could behind that shot and blast it over the bar, but he kept his cool. There you go. Best goal. That's taking a big... He stuck his foot out there, did he, Faisal Roslan? Uh, yeah, look, it's that, just that deflection that takes it past uh, Mokunda. Again, from Bezakor, what's good about that is he, he, he makes sure he hits it hard, keeps it low, and tries to get that one on target. Pull one back. It's Pedro Bortoluzo. I suppose you could say it was coming, Russian, with the kind of chances they were creating. Yeah, they deserve uh, a goal at the very least, Hauga, with the chances that they have created. And the warning signs were there. They were causing problems uh, for this Geelong defence. What's well, bobbling around? And Andre Moritz pounces. Well, it's the second time they scored off a corner tonight. Haugang. And Gelang have paid the price. For a little bit of indecision at the back again. Yeah, and again, it's, uh, as you said, being a little bit poor at the back. I don't want one thing to settle for. Just the point. Right, check. Good ball. They surely will tap that in. Shawal Anwar. There was a little mix-up there at the back, not for the first time today. But for the first time, Hauga go in front. Uh, it's it's Krychek once more, I think the real architect of this. Just hangs on to it, hangs on to it, under pressure, able to skip past. Andre Moritz, who anticipated that well. Remember, he scored a stonking goal in the past from distance against Geelong, but not this time. <laughs> oh, that's deemed a back pass, is it? Get a touch on it. He appeared to have just poked it back to his goalkeeper. Let's have another look at that. I, I really don't think that was a back pass at all. It's a short corner for you in the penalty <laughs> corner in hockey, I would have thought. <laughs> Reminiscent. <laughs> oh, and he squeezed it in! Christian Krytek to cap off what's been a very good day in the office for him. <laughs> he doesn't want to risk any more injury to Andre Moritz and delight there. Well, it's a uh, um, contentious ending to the match, but uh, I think, as Roshan has pointed out, no arguments for the overall result rather than the scoreline. That, that you felt overall how good did enough to win this. Yeah, I mean, they were able to, as I said, finally take their, their opportunities and uh, really hurt uh, Geelong. And uh, Geelong will be very disappointed with the way the, the second half has gone here.